everybody, it's Christina from the Ann Arbor Hands-On Museum and the Leslie Science Nature Center and I'm here today to talk about how to make your own Play-Doh. So the list of ingredients I have here is what you'll need to get started. You'll need flour, salt, hot water, oil, and cream of tartar, plus some food coloring. So go ahead and see if you have all of that in your kitchen and a reminder that if you are a kid doing this you need your parent to help you with the hot water. Alright, let's gather our ingredients. Okay, I've got all my ingredients together. Flour, salt, oil, cream of tartar, and food color. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our dry ingredients and put them in the bowl first. So I'm going to start with my flour. We need two cups of flour. And hopefully I won't spill it all over the place. Alright, one. And two. Alright, and then we need a half cup of salt. So here's my half cup. And I'm going to put my cream of tartar as well, which I only need two tablespoons. All right, two tablespoons of that. And I'm going to just mix all of this up a little bit so that it's not just in a big pile. We're going to stir up our dry ingredients. And then we're going to kind of mound it up and make a little hole in the middle where we're going to pour our wet ingredients. As you can see, I've got my bowl and a little bit of a dip in the middle where I'm going to put some of the wet ingredients. We're going to start with our oil and we only need one tablespoon of oil. I'm also going to put my food coloring. I'm going to choose uh, blue today for my food coloring. I'm going to drop that on top of the oil. You really only need, well, a few drops probably. I'm going to put a lot just to see how blue I can make it. So for right now, we have our oil and our food coloring in the middle. And now I'm going to go get my hot water and add the hot water. So I'll be right back. Okay, I've got my hot water that I boiled up in my tea kettle. Reminder, if you're a kid doing this, please have your parent or an adult boil the water for you and help you add it in so that we be really careful not to touch anything hot. I'm going to add this into the middle of my mixture. And then I am going to stir it up, again using some sort of utensil that can handle the heat. You might find that it's really liquidy for a while, but then as you stir, it will get more and more solid. The other thing you can do is you can add some scented stuff if you want it to smell different. Um, I've seen online that people sometimes add uh, like Kool-Aid mix or some other type of smelling oils to make it smell better. Okay, so mine has reached a stage where it looks pretty much like crumbs and it's cooled down enough that I can touch it and now that I play with it it will form up into balls of Play-Doh. If yours was too liquidy, sometimes just waiting a while, it will uh, get more solid because the salt will absorb the water. If yours is a little bit crummy like mine, you might just have to uh, play with it with your hands and see if it will form up a nice Play-Doh ball or maybe add a little bit more liquid, including a little bit more oil to get it to be a little bit more solid so that we can have a nice little play-doh ball to play with. If you're wondering how you can store your play-doh, 
Um, it's probably best to store it in a sealed container so that it'll stay nice and squishy and not get too dried out. So um, either a sealed plastic bag or a Tupperware container or something where you can keep it a little bit airtight so that you won't have as much moisture loss. If you make some of this Play-Doh, let us know. Show us what you're making. Some ideas to do with uh, your friends at home, your family, is to make some uh, shapes. You could practice your shapes and geometry, squares, triangles, circles, or you could practice your numbers. Make your numbers out of Play-Doh, practice your letters, do the alphabet out of Play-Doh, or make animals or some other type of your favorite creatures like dinosaurs, fossils. You could also roll your Play-Doh out and then imprint something in it and form some sort of picture by imprinting your Play-Doh. So that could be a really fun experiment. And we'd love to see what you guys come up with with your homemade Play-Doh. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.